hi guys welcome to my channel my name is latoya for those that are new welcome for those that are following me thank you for sticking in so today i'll be showing you guys on how to do a beard balm a beard butter let's say balm actually so the first thing we'll do we'll measure our ingredients which is this one is btms 25 you can also use btms 50 i love btms 50 but i didn't hard i also love using emulsifying wax if you have emulsifying wax you can also use emulsifying wax but then i just had a btms 25 and anyways my buttons comes out very well the bombs for my beard my client's beard they always come out nicely and then we put the coconut oil Guys, you know the benefits of coconut oil. It moisturizes your beard. Moisture. That's why if you see guys with a long beard and they put coconut oil on their beard, it moisturizes and gives them it gives them this smooth uh, look on in shining. And then castor oil. We add castor oil as well. Castor oil, guys, it makes your hair grow. I love using castor in all my products because it, of the benefit it has. Then we have also put BT, uh, beeswax. Beeswax. Beast, you can use the yellow beeswax, but I always prefer you to use the white beeswax because <clears throat> for people who are, let's say, people with uh, people with colors, let's say white people, they cannot use beeswax on their beard. It creates this tingling. I don't know. I don't know how to explain, but I always suggest to use the white beeswax. Oh, gosh. After that, you melt all those beeswax. Guys, I forgot to mention, I also put on this thing uh, shea butter. I put as well because I saw a lot of clients of mine they love on their beard balm shea butter as well because shea butter you guys know the benefits of shea butter, so I also put shea butter on that and then I would we wait until it cools down once it cools down you have you add all the other oils such as jojoba oil argan oil <clears throat> in this thing don't put uh, argan you can use also other oils that you think it's beneficial for the beard. You don't need to use the argan oil or jojoba. Just the reason I add jojoba oil is because jojoba is a light oil. It's almost it mimics our skin oil, our skin tone oil, whatever they call it, our skin oil. So that's why I use that. And then after once it's done, you put putting all the mixture and then leave it again to cool down. Add all your vitamin E's or an essential oil. So I added my vitamin E on the. I added vitamin E on the mixture. This was this time it was already cool. It was already cold. Um, so I added on that. You see those white grains. Those the white grain is because of the. I think the spatula I'm using. It it was. I didn't clean it nicely. So it, those was I think beeswax or whatever shea butter. Yeah, and then add the essential oils. Measure them as well. Everything you need to measure. Let's say if you are doing hundred gram of two hundred gram, measure them before you 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 do anything so once you put everything now you can transfer once you do all the mixture one and it's cool down you can transfer now to a jar you must use a sterilized jar any or clean jar whatever but a sterilized jar mostly if it's something cosmetic that you need to sell it out it's easy to make this one guys you can do you can do it yourself if you have your husband boyfriends or yourself you can do this yourself at home you don't need to buy bombs at the shop so here is the ingredients for you guys. You can pause that part and then write out the ingredients and make it for yourself. So that's how my final results. After it cool down, it stays like that. This consistent. It's so beautiful, guys. It's not very hard and it's not very uh, soft. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Goodbye.